Open the ProGrip software. Click this button to set language and scale. Scale can be set to MN, CN. Language can be set to Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, Spanish. Click this icon to set your canvas size. Set the width equal to your DTF film. 11.8 inches or 13 inches. Click this icon to display the entire canvas on your screen. Hold down CT or L and scroll your mouse to zoom in and out of the canvas's view. If you feel DTF prints is not breathable, you can set the air holes to improve it. Click this icon will pop out the settings dialog box. We have the ICC color profiles, CMYK, and RGB. You can choose to follow the picture. It will recognize the picture and apply proper ICC profile to it. Click the double arrow go to the next settings page. Before printing, we need to select our printer in the software. If you install the printer driver in your computer, you will see it here. If your printer has two heads, such as DTF Pro, UV DTF Mini, etc., you need to use device endpoint to connect. You can check all supported Pro Colored printer here. Set your printer to default. This icon is to set the RIP file folder in action after image RIP. Click the double arrow to return to the previous page. Click the picture icon to upload your design into the software. You can see there is much clear background around the image. Click the crop button to enter crop mode. You can cut off the clear background. Click to enter drag and drop mode. The two row icons are undo and redo. Click the button on the far left to add a new canvas. Let's upload another picture. Make a copy. Click to save the job and name it test. Close job to and re-import it. We can see that the previously copied one is still there. It saves your setting. Click to add a new job according to your needs. You can drag the edges of the image to resize it. You can also set WH value to size your image. This lock icon is used for locking the horizontal and vertical ratio. If you unlock it, the horizontal and vertical ratios can be changed. Click this button to restore its size. Click on the Rubik's Cube icon. You can get copies for your image in rows and columns. We set three copies in row and two copies in column. Click this button to do intelligent layout. It will lay out according to the canvas and image.
You can also set the interval between the two images. When you move the picture, it will stick to the border line automatically. Uncheck Adsorption Guide Line. It will not stick to the border. Let's upload another image to test. When the two images are close, it will adsorption to another. We can also uncheck the adsorption function. Now it won't adsorption to another image. On the right side there are W1 and W2. When we click, the image will appear completely white. The value here is to set the indentation of white ink. You can choke white to prevent white line on the edge of the print. Do the same on W2. Settings can be saved for later use. Named as choke white 0.25 mm. Let's click on the arrow to go to the second page. You can see a row of icons on the right. The first one is the printer maintenance page. You can see the options for print head cleaning, inspection, alignment and powering flush. The second icon is the printer's printing job queue. Here you can see the printing job and cleaning job. The third icon is to check the status of the printer. Here you can see whether the printer is in a normal state and whether an error is reported. The fourth icon is the print head cleaning function. Click to clean the print head. The last one is for the nozzle check. Go back to previous page. After clicking rip, a preview dialog box will pop up. Click driver setting and we can go to the setting page. Here we can set the DPI parameters for image rip. Here is the default percentage of CMYK. No need to change it. Double click any color button here to kick out a color. The setting by direction here means bi directional printing. Feather here is to make your print softer and smooth. For DTF printer, it needs to be set to two layer base color. The setting here represents whether to spit out the film after printing. It is recommended to set it to motionless and manually click the button of the machine to spit out the film. Here is the output setting. You can set how many copies you need. Here you can set whether margins in each direction are retained. You need to pay attention to check mirror here. Otherwise, the DTF prints you print will be opposite to your image. Here you can set the rotation.
It is ripping the image. It shows rip finished. But printing has not started. Click this button to print. The task shows transmission finished. Click the print hue button to view the progress of printing. This represents the size that has been printed. We speed up and can see that printing is in progress. Printing finished.